There is a lot of money on the table, thanks to the bipartisan infrastructure law. But how is it going to be utilized best? That's one question lawmakers and key stakeholders work to address during a roundtable discussion today in Norfolk. The Port of Virginia and Coastal Virginia have nearly $70 billion to dredge and widen the harbor in Norfolk and other projects. The Port of Virginia is the third largest port on the East Coast, and it will soon be the deepest. And that will give us a huge advantage over other ports that may not be able to accommodate the largest container ships. People talk about inflation, and one of the problems with inflation is what they call the supply chain. When there's a shortage created because you can't get goods to market, it gives the businesses an opportunity to jack up prices. If you can get the goods to market quickly, then that opportunity would not exist. Representative Elaine Loria says investing in the port and deepening the harbor could open the door to more industry in manufacturing, distribution, warehousing, and transportation, which would lead to more jobs. One of her goals is to use a growing job market to attract military members to make Hampton Roads their forever home, even after they're out of the service.